Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 79. I'm Shane, as always. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com, check out the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos, sign up for the newsletter, check out the other blog posts, and see what is going on over there. Today we're going to be talking about the XML sitemap module. The XML sitemap module basically allows you depending on whether you want your posts, your content of your site, your users, your taxonomy, your menus, any of that different type of data or pages or any, anything that you could submit to the search engines for them to index can be done through this XML sitemap module. Basically it builds an XML document that is then submitted to the search engines. In this case we're going to submit it to Google and Bing and that helps the search engines better index your site. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have our test site here. I'm going to go to the modules page. I already have the XML site map module downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and start turning some of these on. I'm going to show you uh, quite a few of them. You don't necessarily need them all. Just determine based on your site which ones you need. For instance, if you don't have user accounts or user profiles, you probably don't need the site map user module, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the first one on which is XML sitemap, that's the base one that's needed. I'm also going to turn on XML sitemap engines because you can't do much without that one. I'll go ahead and turn on the menu, node, taxonomy, and user. And each one of these is just responsible for adding items to the sitemap based on obviously this third name here, menu, node, taxonomy, or users from your Drupal site. So we'll go ahead and hit save. I'm not going to go over the XML sitemap custom, but I will go over these basic ones. So we'll go ahead and come back and you'll see there's obviously configure links. I'll go ahead and click on the configure link here. You can see there is a URL for sitemap.xml. There's currently nothing there. It's never been updated. You can see a couple messages up here. It says there's a couple problems with the sitemap configuration. First, in order to list user profile links in the sitemap, anonymous users must have the view user profiles permission. So I'm going to go ahead and set that. So if I scroll all the way down, anonymous users are going to need to be able to view user profiles in order for the search engines to actually be able to index them. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we will come back to the XML sitemap page. And now you can also see the XML cache files are out of date, so we need to run cron manually to regenerate the files. So click that link and let this run. You can see now it has been updated at this time. It tells you there's one link and it's one page. So you can of course edit it but it doesn't let you really do anything with it right now. You can delete this sitemap. But basically we need to figure out why there's only one page here. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to change the settings based on what you want included in this sitemap. So there's a couple options here for the minimum sitemap lifetime. It says the recommended value is one day, but you can change that based on the need of your site. There's also some advanced settings that you can go through. Most of these you shouldn't have to touch generally. And here's where it gets interesting. Here's where you can actually set the different settings for what's included in your sitemap. So by default, the front page is always included and it's the highest priority. You also can set how often it generally changes. And all the priority and the change frequency values do is basically tell or inform the search engines which content on your site it should index or crawl first. It doesn't really have any ranking or it doesn't have any ranking at all on how your your pages appear in the index or when they're when someone searches for example your front page isn't necessarily going to show up higher than a more specific page just because of your priority but it is a good rule for which pages will be indexed and crawled first by the search engines. So we'll go into menu links and let's say for instance we wanted to include our main menu in the XML sitemap. We can simply click here on main menu, change the settings to included, we can give it a priority whatever we want and click save. Now you can see when we come back, it's been included, it tells you that there's one available, zero have been indexed, and zero are visible. You can do the same with each different content type. 
you can come and click on the article. This All this does is bring you to the content type edit page. So that's the same as going to structure, content types, and clicking on the edit link on the article content type. Come into the sitemap settings. You can change this to included, of course. You can change the priority to whatever you want, depending on how you want the search engines to index your site, and you can save it. So we'll come back to the XML sitemap configuration. You can do the same with taxonomy. It, it, as you can see, it's very simple. You basically set what you want to be included in the sitemap. And then, of course, you can do the same with users. The other thing you need to look at is the search engines. This tab allows you to select which search engines you want to submit the sitemap to. So I'm going to select both say that I don't want to submit more often than every day and only submit if it's been updated. So I'll save that. Another thing you may want to consider doing and I would recommend is going to either Bing Webmaster or Google Webmaster Tools and making sure that you, sub you submit your sitemap through those tools. And I go over those, or the basics of those in the site verification module Drupal video. So if you want to take a look at that I I don't really touch on submitting a sitemap, of course, but I touch on using those simple tools or those webmaster tools to help get your site verified with the search engines. So let's go ahead and come back to rebuild links. It says the sitemap's up to date and doesn't need to be rebuilt, but I'm going to click rebuild anyways just so you can see what it does. You can see it has three links, one pages or one page. If I click on it, it will then show me this sitemap. It says there's three URLs in the sitemap, and of course this is the human readable CSS file that is in these settings here. So you can turn that off and that should I believe make it, I guess it doesn't, but Basically, you can change that setting to include a style sheet for humans, so it adds formatting and tables to ma and makes it easier to view the sitemap instead of just viewing the raw XML. Search engines, of course, don't care about the styling. They just care about the XML data, so you don't have to worry about that either way. I usually just leave it on. So that's really all there is to it. It's It does a lot, but really it's simple. All it does is generate an XML file, but it can work with your nodes, your menus, your taxonomy, your users. So go ahead and give it a try and start submitting your content to the search engines through an XML sitemap. I highly recommend it on almost all Drupal sites. I use it on almost all Drupal sites in which I want to get organic search traffic from the search engines. So I'd go ahead and give it a try and see what you think. As always, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal.